Welcome to The Hump. I'd love to say welcome to my colleagues, but they're not here. We shot the show the other day and we screwed it up. How did we do that? This little mic runs to a mixer. The mixer runs to the camera. At the camera, too much input. Distortion. We can't run that for you guys, so we lost the show. So, hey, you got me. No, actually, seriously, Jack's put together a package of best ofs, so here they are. Make sure all parts for fixing the projector are in a good state of repair. Make sure the point of anchorage is stable before positioning the projector. The safety chain must be properly hooked onto the fitting and secured to the framework so that if the primary support system fails, the fitting falls as little as possible. If the safety chain gets used, it needs to replace with a genuine spare. The projector needs to be positioned so that the objects hit by the beam of light are at least 12 metres from the lens of the projector and any flammable materials are at least eight inches from every point on the surface of the fitting. It is permissible to mount the fitting on normally flammable surfaces. Do not operate the fixture if the ambient temperature exceeds 40 degrees Celsius. This week, CX investigates troubling reports of a rogue sound technician operating on a stage near you. Our witness wishes to remain anonymous, so we'll just call him Jimmy. Jimmy, can you tell me what happened? Well, I first had my suspicions when I walked onto the stage and saw there was an SM57 on vocal, and there wasn't a mic on every individual drum. I checked the vocal, and there was reverb in the fold pack. And at this point, I got pretty worried, and I went to front of house to look at the desk. Despite using an expensive digital desk, he didn't have plugins on every channel, was only using two of the 16 effect sends, and wasn't compressing signals on the channel, the group, and then the master bus. He didn't even have a brick wall limiter in light. Really, all he was using was gain, high pass, EQ, and some tastefully applied delay and reverb. We were appalled. And what happened next? Well, it's the strangest thing. Some people say it's the best mix we've ever had. The Mackie DL32R is a powerful 32-channel digital mixer, completely controlled wirelessly from Mackie's intuitive Master Fader iPad app, freeing you to get in the mix like never before. The Master Fader control app is where everything happens. It's the most intuitive control app on the market, proven at more than 2 million live shows the world over. Download Master Fader for yourself to see it in action. Thanks for watching. It all started when he mixed the band from on stage one night. After that, he started dabbling and mixing from front of house and not playing in the band at all. Pretty soon, he was out almost every night and started earning more than the band was. It wasn't long after that, he started doing lights too. We begged him to stop, but it was too late. Now he's out there on the street, dressed in black, scoring gear and renting himself out to anyone who will pay. He hasn't even seen the sun in two years. We just miss him and we want him back. The modern AV environment is about flexibility, interoperability, convergence. Your solution needs powerful synergies, undeniable ROI advantages and core competencies. Our range of collaborative integration platforms put you in charge with the full range of enterprise connectivity options, including PAYG, MYOB, MYP and Qs, Q&A, FAQ and RTFM. Our linked HTML5 sandbox delivers seamless immersive multitasking in huddle corners, panic rooms, parking spaces and utility closets. BYOD, BYOB, turn on, tune in and Dropbox. 
Naturally, we offer full compatibility with leading third-party providers, including Cisco's Me Too Sir environment, Microsoft's Hook Me Up, and HP's Here, Now, Rodney. If you demand everything, demand it now, and continue to demand it long after everyone has left. We are the virtual cloud vapor mist aggregator that you hadn't even been looking for until now.